Right, there's St Andrew's Church. I've taken a variety of views of it. I've just come down the, uh, the lane, past the Compton Manor, big manor house behind that wall there. Beautiful views here. And I'll be walking around the church in a minute. This might be a brief video because of um, the need to take photographs. I'm going to have to buy another small camera just for photos, I think. Because the other one's packed up more or less. It's, um, it's just not working properly anymore. So I've only, really, I've only really got this camera now. The others are all playing up. Big time. So this is Compton Bishop. And uh, just taking you around. There is a way in here. Um, through, through there. But I've never, I don't think I've ever been able to get through it. But I'm not going to go in that way. I'm going to carry on round because um, I like going in the front gate. It's very pretty. And to just video a bit more of the village, which I've cycled here as well before now, you know. I've cycled here before. I'll be taking my jumper off soon. It's just starting to feel warm now. Um, a few families out. I've got out and done one section of the walk pretty quick though. And uh, I'm just walking up round by the church. There's more of it there. There's nice views from the church. And usually there's a little bench where I have my picnic. So I might have the picnic after I've looked round the church. So I've just set a bar of chocolate. I needed it. This is right in the middle of nowhere, not far from Loxton, uh, not far from Winscombe, because I've walked. And here we have the little bench. Church Lane. And look behind, what a fantastic view. When I first seen this, I was uh, overwhelmed with this beauty. I'll be going down the back, down that way after the church to pick up the path to take me up along the slope. But, uh, oh yeah, it's just beautiful. Beautiful views. There's the public, there's the bench. I don't I think I'll sit on it at the moment. Lovely view up. Oh, they got the gate open. It was always difficult to open this one. Here we are. And in here there are graves of oh, look, somebody's left their pizza. Amazing. Unless <laughs> that family left it there. What we do, I'll walk round. There's somebody in there, I'll go in there in a minute. They might even lock it again, who knows. There we go, lovely views so though. Somebody's gonna sit on that bench and have their their lovely meal in a minute. There were various seats around the churchyard where you can sit and have a picnic is one here, for example, which is rather nice and in the shade at the moment. And I'll, eventually I'll be right up there where those people are, looking down here, taking photos from up there. See those people there? Families are out now. Some people sit up there and drink beer and stuff, a bit noisy. That could be the peak there, let me have a look. Or it could be something like the, is that the peak? 
Yes, yeah, so there's the peak there, look, you see a bit of it. Yeah. There's somebody in the church at the moment. I'm just having a little wander around. Um, I think she's got Wookie family here. I remember. I think it's Wookie. I've done it all before, of course. Um, I've done all the stones. <coughs> I can't remember exactly where they are, but it might be here. Yes, here we are. Here's a Wookiee. Alan Charles Wookiee died January the 6th, 1945, aged 71. The Wookiee grave. That's, they're connected possibly to Barbara. And Bessie Parker Wookiee. She died 22nd of June, 1954, aged 79. So, that could be another one that's hidden, which I might have, I might have had that when that stone was upright. I'm just having a quick scan. Just a quick scan. Some new ones over there. They might not be new, but they've got stones now. More views of the church. I usually do a video and then take photos. They might, whoever it is in there, might shut it up, you see. There's, I walked up the lane. There's the style that I could have come through earlier. There, look. We just stand in the shade a minute. In the corner. <sighs> nice picture of the church. I'm going to turn off now and take some photos. Right, small video. Don't know how it'll come out because um, I sometimes have trouble with the camera, this one. Little font. Yes, yeah, a very basic church, but it's kept nice and tidy, and I think it's used. That could have been the, the vicar that came out then. It's the eleventh today. Just done a little bit of a writing in the book. I'll take a little leaflet. I'll put, give them 20p in a sack. Don't know if there's any other leaflets. Little leaflet. St Andrews, Compton Bishop.
I think they're sitting to have their picnic. <sighs> Looks like they got a pizza. <laughs> oh, nice, aren't they? <sighs> yeah, like I said, I remember when I came in here once before, it was with a very basic camera, but there were lots of really good sunlight images that I was getting. Um... I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. That's a nice picture. There's a little door look at the piscina where they keep the holy water. Sometimes they used to anyway. Little piscina area. St. Andrew's, Compton Bishop. Some big slabs down here. Yeah, it's been well maintained. It's um, this is uh, good. I don't know what them what it looked like when I took my first because they remove a lot of stuff, you know, um, statues and things and ornaments because of people stealing stuff. And it could be that there was more ornamentation in here the last time I came. I always go in the pot, but God, it smells of pot. It smells of marijuana here. My goodness, doesn't it? The brags. My goodness, it smells, feels like someone stood up here and rolled a joint. <sighs> I thought I'd do it. I've come here to visit this little church. Which cousin Barbara in Canada, distant family would have visited, come to weddings, funerals, baptisms. On the Mendip Hills, just like Shipham and Rowborough, where I visited not long ago. Big old Bibles. Great big old Bibles there. Great big ones. <sighs> right, I'm going to turn off again and take some more images over and out. Right, I'm leaving the little church, St Andrews now. Had a little picnic. Came up that way earlier, Church Lane. Now I'm going back um, to but Butts Patch. Now, I, I've been here before, but I can never quite remember the turning. But I'll probably recognise it when I get to it. So it's a neat little village. Hold on, i just got to put my... Um, stick away. So there we are. There's the, the lovely little church of St Andrews. Beautiful, peaceful. And uh, this is a little tiny hamlet. There's no pub. As far as I know, no shop. I've only just taken my jumper off. Um, but I've got it with a light windshield if I need it later. I turn off in a minute. So this is a little village. Looks very much the same as it always has. Embraced by the Mendip Hills and Crooks. Peak, crook peak. There's a little road up here I turn down in a minute. Nice um, 
old farmhouse, manor house that's called. And of course if you look back you can see the hills that I came off earlier. Gently down the slope I came down. Like I said, I've cycled here before now. Cycled. I'm just going to check the time. I haven't got as long as I thought. I'm an hour down. There's one bus less on a Saturday. So it's... I've got four hours. I sometimes wonder if I, I've got time, actually. I don't know what I'm going to do if I miss the bus. Um, but it's, it's good to have a break, to have um, some nourishment, even though it gives me indigestion, the cheese. Oh, a big pheasant flew off. remember before I think I never know which way to go when I come up here. Um, it's always been a bit of an issue. So I'm leaving the... let's just see what awesome books are. Let's just have a look. I've missed them on the way past. Help yourself. Let's just have a look. There might be something might not be. <sighs> no, I don't really want to carry anything anyway. It's all extra weight, you see. Right, I'm going to turn off now.